Generative artificial intelligence is impacting higher education in profound ways, from how we perceive the written words to the future of teaching and students' autonomous learning. Hello, my name is Alexa Alice Jobin. I am the co-director of the Digital Humanities Institute. Just like printed books and typewriters, AI is a technology of representation. Like other technologies of reading and writing, AI exists within an ecology of written words as asynchronous communication. While AI is not reliable to produce knowledge or even to retrieve factual information, it can amplify students' training in expository writing. Humanistic writing is an organized way of thinking. Effective writing is open-ended. It makes the familiar strange and the strange familiar. At the core of effective writing lies an awareness of the rhetorical situation, namely the target audience's needs. In this video, I would like to demonstrate some use cases for AI in the humanities. Here, I will showcase perplexity.ai. In terms of learner psychology, there is certain resistance to the so-called peer review workshops. If you were to peer review student writing in class um, and pair up, they'll read each other's draft, but their feedback is not always very helpful because they tend to say nicer things. This is actually a known bias. Even for uh, economists, for example, trying to conduct a survey, they already found that if it's a human asking the question, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the subject would tend to give answers they think that the, that the surveyor would like to hear. And so to avoid this, I use AI to anonymize student papers for the purpose of workshopping in class. I will feed it 10 student papers that have similar problems. Very often, the, they, they share the same patterns of challenges. And I ask AI to generate, to generate a new paper, right? I ask it to situate itself as a college sophomore, for example. Um, and as a generated paper, I ask it to to uh, reproduce the grammatic, the typical grammatical errors, errors, the typical kind of flaws. I would name what it is, like you know the the failing to cite evidence to support an argument, and so I obtain a new paper uh, that is authored by a machine. It's a perfect lab specimen for dissection later in class. It's not written by any student or a human. Um, and students certainly feel far more comfortable tearing it apart and learning becomes more e effective. In this unit, I have demonstrated some solutions to the challenges of writing in a world of information abundance. I encourage my students to keep an open mind regarding uncertainty and to resist the urge to default to simplistic certainty. Instead of fetishizing the speed of writing or overemphasize the value of short form writing, we should pay attention to the ecology of written words and cultivate critical questioning skills. Mm -hmm.